Lou, today we're going to be reading Rhino Corn. By Eleanor Best and Stephanie Thanhauser. Riley believes with all her heart that you cannot tell her and her best friends apart. She has a cool tail, four legs and a horn. In Riley's view, she's a unicorn. Her meals are all made up of pink lollipops, fish sherbet tea, and sweet candy drops. When racing down Rainbow, she knows she will win. She plummets straight down with a big cheesy grin. Whee! One day as Riley was skipping along, she bumped into someone who looked tough and strong. Her eyes opened wide. She let out a scream. You're the most giant unicorn I've ever seen. Big Rocky laughed as he boomed. That's not true. I'm not a unicorn. Neither are you. We're rhinos with four legs for stomping around. Our tail swat at flies. Oh no. And our horns dig the ground. Riley thought none of those things sounded fun and decided to show Rocky how things were done. Our unicorn horns are the coolest of things. We use them in games to catch sweet donut rings. This is ridiculous. Our unicorn tails are not what they seem. With a magical flick, they make rainbows that gleam. Amazing! I'm a ballerina. Our unicorn legs are for dancing ballet. First point your toes, then try a plie. So with all of that in mind, I think you'll agree that we are as unicorn as unicorns can be. Rocky hemmed and he hawed and he scratched at his head. I think that you're something brand new, Rocky said. You look like a rhino with legs, tail, and horn, but you've shown me today you're a rhino corn. Half rhino, half unicorn. That's what you are. You are true to yourself, which is better by far. Rocky said, I've had so much fun playing with you. I think that I might be a rhino corn too. Would you like to stay with us? Riley and Rocky then lived happily, being as rhino corn as rhino corns can be. The end. And that's it for today's episode of Storytime with Jen. We will see you tomorrow.